Hello guys, I am Nasir and you are most welcome in Laptex once again. Today we have uh, Dell 14Z model and uh, with a very unique problem. As you can see the white has come, red and uh, green display. It is changing rapidly and this types of problem really is uh, a very tough task to repair because usually we cannot uh, determine that uh, what is the root cause of the problem so i have diagnosed it and uh, found that uh, bgic is faulty uh, here i cannot mention the name of that signal which i traced but uh, i am damn sure that uh, that is uh, that signal was coming from the hm but however uh, all the time hm are not faulty for the same case i have done but in this case i am um, sure very sure and uh, if you want to know what is the signal which which uh, can determine you that uh, the bgic is faulty in that particular uh, colorful case so you will have to take training from us and uh, you will have to go through our training classes so here we have we are uh, going to replace the bga chip and uh, i have fixed it on the bga machine in order to remove the remove the bgic now the temperature has reached 280 degrees celsius almost as you know very well that uh, what is the melting temperature of lead free ball as well as the leaded ball there are the far difference in in the matter of heat in the matter of melting temperature so usually the new ic comes with the glue and uh, that is really herculean task you need to know that uh, what temperature it is required to pull up because uh, sometimes you lose the track as well we have removed the bgic successfully because uh, here you have to mind at the time when you are removing it from the bga machine you only have to care about uh, the auxiliary component which is just nearby the bgic uh, should not be moved on its place and the second thing you have to mind that uh, no track no tracks you have to lose at any cost so now let's come and see that how we clean the the tracks uh, the old balls which is uh, on the on the bga tracks here you have to only mind that uh, when you are going to clean the tracks you should not lose any track that could cause of the other problem like sometime uh, the hard drive will not detect sometime usb uh, will not work so this types of problems occurs due to uh, the missing tracks because you cannot uh, confirm that uh, which track is going to miss here so very carefully and very gently you have to clean the tracks and uh, one more thing while your uh, while moving your soldering iron you only have to uh, put the iron on its uh, bga track only sometime it goes out and uh, it 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 remove the resistance as well so we use goodwick this is the good quality of uh, desolder wire and uh, you can get the desolder wire from us because we as i told you in my earlier video that uh, we deal in all types of uh, tools bgic's and smt ic's as well now we we need to clean and we will try to find that uh, it is it must be very smooth so that the new ic because the new ic comes with the ball and uh, the ball must be on its place and that is why you, here you can see that the new slj8c is here and uh, it's brand new slj8c we have get from my cell office and uh, 
we will fix it on the motherboard so now let's come you should uh, apply some paste you should apply some paste on the tracks so that uh, so that it should uh, persist very smoothly it should uh, fix on its place very smoothly so here our engineer is uh, trying to place it on on the tracks so it is uh, very look it is very easy to replace the ic in the generic laptops because there is a marking on the four corner and it is very tough task to replace the ic in apple motherboard because i changed the ic's in the apple motherboard however i don't have the r6200 bg machine that is the fully automatic bg machine and uh, there is the dual camera as well but uh, i am using the old uh, machine because uh, for last uh, eight and uh, ten years i have been using this machine this is zumau zmr 6030 and i think uh, this is the really good bg machine and uh, we are very habitual to uh, put the ic back on its place because uh, we daily replace at least two and three ic's with the same bg machine so we have started the bg machine here and uh, the process is going on and you can see the temperature here it has reached 240 degrees celsius and uh, i have uh, made a different slot of uh, temperature uh, even if you can make only one uh, type of temperature setting if you know that uh, what temperature is required for the specific uh, ic's or specific balls so here as we know that the new ic comes with the the new ic comes with lead, lead free balls so it is required 280 degrees celsius at least so slightly it is uh, my bg machine is increasing its heat and uh, it is about to reach 280 degrees celsius now let's come and see that uh, we have successfully replaced the bgic and uh, i also shown you that uh, how what is the process of uh, cleaning the tracks so now i am going to check it whether do i get display or not let me put the dc jack and now you can see the board is on now you can see the display has come so really it uh, it is the uh, great job because uh, there is a, some specific problem was there and a specific signal is dedicated for that and i traced out and finally i got breakthrough so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and please like and comment and subscribe this video thank you thank you for watching this video